And welcome to Allied Footy Buffalo. I'm Darcy. And I'm with Christian McDonald from the Smithville Food Club. Welcome, Christian. Thanks for having me, guys. And also with Stephen Toasty Play. We're going to ask why. If you know why he's called Toasty, mate, we're on the website. We'd like to know why, but welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And we are from the Portland Football Club. Now, you think, guys, with Luke Hose, he'll be the legend of this club. He'll have his name, or he tells us how good he is as a player. Yeah. I've been looking He'll have his name somewhere in this club, but not as Zach. No, he's not as good as he says he is. So if you see his name, it ain't there. And Luke, I want to know how good you really were. Anyway, we are here, <laughs> we are here tonight, at the, the, um, and thank you for the Port Footy Club for uh, letting us use your premises. We really do appreciate that. And anyway, we're up to Division 4. We had the Kilburn, the two by Jeps Cross. It was a good win first up the Kilburn. It was 13 goals, 7 85. Defending Jeps Cross, well, poor kicking, 9 16 70. So it could have gone either way if there was a bit of a straight kick in the Jeps Cross. Mm. All right, so Kilburn, goal kickers, we've got R.O. Keith. With three, and Parker with two SCR breaks, which was that Scotty was saying earlier. Yeah. Um, with two, and B, B Lay, B Robertson, M Mowring, B Parks, D Tippett, and N Pierce all with one. Our uh, best players, SCR break, N Pierce, B Lay, M Parker, and Parksy. Yeah, Jeff's Cross, uh, that we. Uh Licking their wounds, kicking 16 points, but uh, we'll move yes. on to their goal kickers. Uh, we have Art Edwards with four, uh, T Robinson, Jay Ladd, C Camp, D Mason, and Al Carter, all with singles. Um, their best players there, M Smith was uh, best on ground, C Camp, uh, T uh, J Tahana, sorry, Art Edwards, and T Hawkinson rounding out their best players. See, with Jeps Cross losing, they couldn't really put them away that first quarter. 2 2 14 to Jeps Cross 2 6 18, so the kicking sort of in 5 9, and it sort of went from there. So the scores were level at half time, and it's 6 3 39 or 5 9 39. So it was just that kicking that just didn't get them over the line. So, but not Jeps Cross, they could come back next week. So now we head up to Hope Valley, who took on Smosh West Lakes, and unfortunately, um, gee, Smosh West Lakes didn't continue with what they were doing last year. So um, it was Hope Valley, 18 goal, 917 to Smosh West Lakes, 9660. So, um, over to you, yeah, Smosh West Lakes. Yeah, so Smosh West Lakes, we've got four pickers. Yeah. Stable, seven, uh, Steve kicking seven there. Um, I, Dorian, and D, Geneva. Our uh, best players, S. Fairclough, L. Staple, L. King, M. Gates, and M. Brown. So it's good to see Sam Fairclough Fairclo go around again. He's, well, he's been in his 30s, but he's still won the best and fairest last year, and uh, doing very well and being the best players again. So yeah. that's my daughter's boyfriend, Morgan Cox. Um, he banned her up by the beast. He's gone from best and fairest to years to banned her up by the beast. But he will be playing. We've got to tell him he's going to get out there again. He hasn't trained, so I think he's going to get out and start training and maybe get back in the A's this year. So, but to end for Hope Valley. Yeah, Hope Valley, you had uh, Jay Hellmans with eight, uh, M Min with five, S Hunt with two, J Rangelis with one, B Barton with one, J Copastel with one. J Copastel again with uh, the best on the ground there, well done. Uh, J Hellmans kicked uh, the eight and got second best, so he doesn't get any prizes from us. Uh, exactly. Uh, J uh, Thurgood with third best, uh, J Press with fourth, W Riddle and J Hand. Is that, uh, is that Joshua Hand, I believe? Uh, no. yeah. Joshua Hand, yeah. Um, I'm not sure it's the same Josh Hand that uh, played at uh, Joshua Cross and also at Tipton Gully there for a bit, but uh, it is. Good like, many Josh Hands from the place, I think. So, yeah, no, so. Um, yeah. <coughs> anyway, we head out to the South Park Rangers there with Polney taking on Mountfield Park. It was a good win to Mountfield Park. 12 7 79, Polney 9 10 64. So, pretty, um, yeah. uh, first quarter was Mountfield uh, Park 1 4 10 to 1 goal straight. Then Mountfield uh, Park sort of kicked away in that second quarter and sort of set themselves up for the rest of the game. So, I think uh, Polney made the attempt to come back in that last quarter, but it uh, wasn't to be, and Mountfield held on by a good margin. So we're right, he's over to Hockney's goal kickers. We have T Curry with three, S Curry with two, S Barbara, sorry, the J, uh, J Tripoldi, B Clark, J Giddings. And best players, we have J Fisher, D Quinn, D Tucker, T Curry, and J Tripoldi. Yeah, I'll get uh, the old Morphy Park. Uh, goal kickers there, D Thompson with three, uh, B Medhurst with two, E Doak with two, L Mensforth with two. And you had the single goal kickers with B Murphy and Davies and H Brokenshire. Um, best player on the ground, he also kicked three, D Thompson with one, uh, the first best, sorry, uh, S Walker, uh, D George, uh, J Niven, and uh, rounding out the best players. 
And yep, yeah, well done. And we head out to Mitchum, who took one in Pembroke, who were relegated last year, and looks like they're looking, yeah, must have yeah. so obviously consolidated, had a good win over Mitchum. So it was Pembroke 10 11 71, defending Mitchum 7 7 49. So we're there Pembroke. Yeah, luckily uh, for them, they only kicked four points by the look of it in the third quarter, but they had to still be able to uh, pull the finger out and get the job done in the last. Uh, uh, well done to them, so I'll, I'll, I'll stick with them. And uh, the yeah. goal kickers for Pembroke were A. Forster with four, Jay Pangilly with two, uh, Jay Green with one, A. Z. with one, and Morrill with one, and Jay Webster with one. Yeah. Uh, best players uh, were uh, Jay Inelchi, in I believe, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, C. Kenny, uh, Jay Pangilly, uh, A. Forster, and Morrill to round out their best players. And head over to the goal kickers, we have H. Pride, S. Lawson, D. Peterson. S. Clark, S. Hammond, B. Dulles, and M. Smythe. And best players S. Lawson, H. Pride, H. Lyons, A. Gillen, and I. Listen. Yeah, that's it. Then we had the Woodville to one Woodville South, and it was uh, good in there to Woodville. It was nine. It was nine nineteen. Also, you could have absolutely slayed them out the water, but um, obviously by ended up only being five points in the end to ten eight sixty eight. So five points away. Nineteen goal nine. If you look at it that way, but yeah. you can't in hindsight always is. But they still took the biscuits out in the end, and uh, good in there to Woodville. <laughs> Alright, so we'll move well because we have T Sinclair with two, R Madden, T Wagner, J Wolford, T Wolford, J Illness, B Griffiths and B Massey. And first players, T Wolford, C Lloyd Fox, D Slorach, T Sinclair and Y Papa Georgios. Yes. Uh, just absolutely wouldn't <laughs> no, 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 Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So I'll go, with, I'll go with Woody South. It's been a while since I uh, played against them. Uh, they did one when I first started playing. Yes, they were. So, they did six to one. Yeah, yeah. Back down. Just, yeah. So, uh, I don't like seeing that. But so, now they're on the way back up. So, yes. um, good luck to them. Uh, S. Smith with six goals. T. Coulthard with two. Helwood with one. And K. Georgianis with one. Our best players. He got the chocolates here. Best players. He kicked the six. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately, maybe <laughs> the seven, maybe got them the win, but six, uh, six goals is always great, well done, uh, best best on ground too. Uh, so, T. Dowling got the second best, C. Percy got the third best, T. Wilson got the fourth, and T. Yeah. Hulk Tarp got the fifth. That's it for round, so we're going to have a look at next week. Yeah, so we'll go to next week's fixture. Uh, some good games in the matchup by the way. Yes, yes. uh, we got Japs Cross and Walkerville, uh, then Duncan Fraser, so they're at Japs Cross yeah. Home. Uh, we got Pembroke and Kilburn, Morphin Park and uh, Hope Valley, uh, Woody South and Polly, Smosh and Slater. Good luck. Good luck, Will. And that's it for Division 4, and we'll see you next week.